welcome back. We're so excited to be joined with the Duchesne Band. And we've got lead singer, songwriter, vocals. We've got Duchesne, and then we've also got bassist, Brian Stashak. Guys, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thanks and, for having uh, us. And making the trip from Pittsburgh. Yeah. So how are you guys doing today? Fantastic. Great. It feels good. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about, you, uh, just tell me a little bit about your song, which is called Daisy Girl, and you're saying it's got a lot of attention now, lots of success. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, it has, um, I mean, it has over a thousand plays on it a day, and it keeps climbing from there. So it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a you know, real big success. And um, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it, you know, it's, it's, it's all <coughs> over. It's getting a ton of plays, so we're really excited about it. It's just taken off. Yeah. So we actually do have a clip of Daisy Girl. Let's take a listen. That sounds so good. That just gets me ready for summer. That's why this is perfect that you guys are here. Yep. Summer's right around the corner. Oh, yeah. These are the songs that people want to jam out to, but you also have a lot of new music on the front. Tell me a little bit about that, Duchesne. Well, uh, we've been working on a new record uh, titled Gators and Lovers. And we're close. <laughs> what a title. <laughs> Gators and Lovers, right. Uh, we're close to finishing that off. We've been uh, in the mixing process and uh, it's going to be 14 songs, like the last record. Uh, we have a bunch of summertime songs, just like the last record. Mm -hmm. Song is taking on a little bit more mature band than the first record. Um, songs are still about uh, growing up, where I, kind of like where I grew up in New York, and having the Jersey Shore. I and love that uh, you gave a shout out to the Jersey Shore. I talk oh, about yeah. Jersey all the time on the show as a Jersey girl. I spent <laughs> my entire childhood on the Jersey Shore. So may not be a uh, country country, but for us that was getting out of the big city and, um, and it was water. <laughs> yeah, so for people who are not too familiar with Duchesne quite yet, because I have a feeling you guys, you know, you're, keep, you're gonna hit the scene even more, especially after this <laughs> record. How would you say your music is? What do you classify it as? Well, I think um, we're, we have a, a, a blend of Southern rock, pop, country, and Americana. So some people say, hey, you know, you guys remind me of a modern day Leonard Skinner, you know? And some people say, hey, you sound like Nashville sound. Some people say, you have that Americana background, you know, stories, life mm -hmm. stories. Uh, we cover a lot of uh, life stories. We write a lot about people's lives. Yeah. We write about our own. Um, sometimes we listen a lot mm -hmm. to people. And you've been in the music industry for a long time. <coughs> yes. For people who might remember this band, Law and Order, yeah. you were also in that. Just touch base on that a little bit. Well, Law and Order was like an early 90s band. Um, we were a blues and rock band. Uh, you know, we did a lot of touring with, you know, bands like Guns N' Roses and uh, Pearl Jam. And, uh, and uh, so that record, we released a couple of records back in the day. Uh, and then we just remastered them. And right now they are uh, going to be, hopefully be released probably by the midsummer as a remix record. For That's the Law awesome. Band. So Brian, you can tell he likes to talk a lot. Brian, <laughs> how great is it for you to work with Duchesne? And tell me how it came to be <laughs> that you joined the band as the bassist. So it's, uh, I mean, it's awesome to be able to play with them. Um, you know, I've been with them now for a few months. Um, and we came together by a friend, a friend, Man. you know, said that he needed a bass player. And I was like, all right, let me see what this is about. And um, yeah, I just love it. I mean, I absolutely love it. Love you know, jamming out. Learn a lot too, you know. Yeah. Have you been playing bass for a while now? I've been playing bass since I was th 13 years old, right? But um, never really like this, you know, mm -hmm. doing like all original material, um, <coughs> and just you know, again, I'm still, you know, you're never too old to learn. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm learning a lot, and I'm having a lot of fun. 
And I, and I can tell. Yeah. Because when we were planning, you know, which songs were going to be at which part of the, the yeah. show, I could tell you got some favorites yeah. in there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And you like songs that pull at your heartstrings. Yep, yep, I do. I like that. So I have noticed you guys have a fusion. You got the fun stuff, the real mm -hmm. pop, country. But then another song we're going to hear in just a bit um, that one end up gone. End up gone. Yeah. We're going to yeah. actually hear that after the break. <coughs> Just tell me a little bit about that. Um, well, I grew up with a bunch of friends who were um, hardcore gamblers, and uh, I think that it's relatable in a lot of sports nowadays for people who are, you know, especially Fanduel. Like everything now is gambling, so I, I guess you get a feel for it uh, when you hear the lyrics and say, "Hey, you know, I, I, I get where they're coming from." Mm. You know. Yeah. So I'm very excited because they're about to take to the 814 soundstage after the break. Duchesne and Brian, I'm so excited you're going to be here the whole show, and we can't wait to tell viewers at home how they can find out more about your music and your latest single that is dropping summer 2022. Yeah. So yep. they'll have to put it on their <laughs> calendars. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Thank we're going to take a quick break, and then you'll get to hear some live music.